Hey guys, it's Cassandra. I'm going to be showing you guys the book mail that I've received in October. I haven't been buying books lately, but late last month I told myself that I was going to buy some books, so I went to Book Depository. All of these are pretty recent releases. First up, we have One Dark Throne by Kandari Blake. This is a sequel to Three Dark Crowns. I'm obsessed with this series. I still haven't read this one yet. This cover is my favorite between the US and the UK. I can't wait to read this. This series is about three sisters who have to basically fight to the death in order for one of them to become queen. Each one of them has a different power. We have Mirabella who can control fire, Katerin who is a poisoner, and Arsene, Arsene who is a naturalist. I don't know how to say her name. It's pretty epic. I pre-ordered One Dark Throne. I was sent these playing cards at the back. I'll show you a few cards just so you know why I needed these. We have the Joker, the Suitor, the Queens. They're so pretty. Kings do not rule in Fenburn Island. Next up we have Under the Pendulum Sun by Jeanette NG. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. This was definitely a cover by. Don't know much about it except that it has a pretty amazing cover. Just look at that detail. My next purchase is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. Got the UK edition. This is about Serena who is part of a traveling circus and she is an illusionist. The first one in many many years. Her illusions are pretty epic until one of her illusions is murder. I'm pretty excited about it. Next up we have The Creeper Man by Dawn Kurtagich. I loved her book The Dead House so I decided to buy this one. I believe this is the UK cover for And the Trees Crept In. I don't know much about this one. It just says that there's a man in the trees, a man who has no eyes, and it just finishes off with Beware the Creeper Man. I'm all about this. Next up we have There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I don't think I've read anything by her yet but this will definitely be my first read from her. I don't know much about this one since the synopsis is a bit vague but I think we can take away a lot from the time. I'm guessing there's something going on in this house that I can't wait to uncover. And something you guys should know about me is that I hate reading the synopsis. I love going in blind. A lot of synopsis give away big ultimate spoilers and I'm not about that. My next package is from Penguin Random House. I'm part of my first storygram tour on Instagram. The book is The Breathless by Tara Gochin. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong as well. This one came out on October 10 and I can't wait to read it. The blurb says, once there were three beautiful sisters at Blue Gate Manor and then there were two. This follows the death of a sister and the return of that sister's boyfriend who is taught to be the one responsible. Like I said, I don't like knowing a lot about my books, so that's about all I know about this. But it sounds like it will be an exciting read and I can't wait to get to it. My next package is from a Twitter trade. I was looking for Spindle Fire by Lexa Hillier. As soon as I saw this cover, I knew that I needed to have it. I don't really have an idea of what this is about, but the blurb says that this is perfect for fans of Sarah J Mass and Lee Bardugo. So as we all know, anything Sarah J Maas, I'm all in for. From the title, I think it might be a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. I did see the word fairy in there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Next up is a package from St. Martin's Press. I've already opened it on Instagram. They sent me a paperback copy of Moon Chosen by PC Cast. I've been obsessed with this book since last year and I can't stop raving about it a year later. This book is about our world in the very far future. Madi is an earthwalker, walkers, people who worship the moon. And then we have Nick who is part of a tribe who worships the sun. Who have companions that are canines. They are rival clans. So it's pretty interesting when we see them meet. It follows quite a few point of views. I love the dark elements and recommend it. Along with the copy of Moon Chosen, they sent me a finished copy of Sun Warrior. This is on my top five anticipated releases of the year and I can't believe I have it. I'm obsessed with these covers. They're so pretty together. And last but not least, we have a package from Wednesday Books. The first thing I saw when I opened the package was a Sun Warrior candle. The scent is Amber and Oak Moss, created by Wick Dom on Etsy. It smells amazing. I love how it matches the cover. The next thing I saw was this cute little figurine. They sent me another 
paperback copy of Moon Chosen. You can never have too many copies of a book you love. I might do a giveaway for this one because more people need to read this. Next up, I saw an early copy of Sun Warrior. I love the early copies for this series because the spines are completely different from the finished copy. I love these spines so much. <laughs> They also sent me three coloring pages from the book because the book does include illustrations in every chapter and I didn't notice these before but when I started flipping through the books I found extra goodies that were hidden in there. First I saw this Moon Chosen bookmark which does have Sun Warrior. They also included signed book plates that completely made my day. I haven't had the pleasure of having a signed PC cast book yet and now I'm gonna have two. These are going on my early copies for sure. So that's it for the book mail that I've received in October so far. I will be uploading another one like this one at the end of October so I can show you the rest of the book mail I got this month. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like any of the reads that I showed. If you want to see more from this channel, make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you soon.